Is it really all that it's cracked up to be? You see, for us it started back in 2017 when Taylor and I moved from New Jersey to California, then up to Oregon. We went on a camping trip to Crater Lake National Park, which if you haven't been yet, add it to your list. Anyway, we were there in the middle of September. And for us who live on the East Coast, September is what's known as the local summer, where all the vacationers, we call them shoeies, go back to their primary homes, and the locals have empty beaches all to themselves with sunny, beautiful weather and the warmest water of the year. However, in Crater Lake, the middle of September could be the start of winter. And winter is coming. And to our surprise, it was. That night, it got down to 28 degrees, and we pitched a tent over the snow. Now we did hear about van life at this time. After all, we were living in Oregon, which is a very popular place for van life and van conversion companies. But nah, we were okay with pitching a tent and camping just like we've done in other national parks. But this night was different. It was the coldest we've ever been in a tent. And when we were finally about to go to sleep, we heard the sound of an engine roll on by. What do you know, a van pulled up to the camp spot right across from us with their heater keeping them toasty warm all night. It was at this moment we were sold on the idea of van life and the idea turned into a plan of action. Now, when we moved back to New Jersey, we shared our new plan to our parents and they thought we were crazy. We're, we're buying, buying a, a van. van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the idea of living on the road in a van wasn't too fantasizing back then. You're gonna be doing a lot of doobie rolling when you're living in a van down by the river. But with the rise of social media, the van life movement started to become more and more popular. We were seeing pictures of what seemed to be luxurious homes in 80 square foot cargo vans, and we couldn't believe what we were seeing. More and more ideas of what our van could look like started flowing in, and we finally pulled the trigger on a cargo van that fit within our budget. Now I know what you're probably thinking, why not just get an RV or something cheaper like a school bus for more size, but I'll get into this later. When we bought the van, we were working full-time jobs and could slowly build out the van of our dreams over the course of a year. This thing had all the bells and whistles, with a shower, solar, enough power to run a hairdryer, stovetop, fridge, laptops, heat water, you name it, it had it. I know there's some people out there who probably think that is completely unnecessary and all you need is a simple mattress and a place to sleep while on the road. And hey, if that's you, that's cool, but you never met my wife and you never smelled me after three days with no shower. Anyway, once the van was completed, we set out for an adventure and lived in the van on and off for two years. We explored the mountains, the beaches, and different cities. It was amazing. It gave us some of the best memories of our lives. However, contradicting to what you see on Instagram, it's not glamorous all the time. We're stuck on the side of the road. <laughs> We need to get our tires upgraded because we couldn't make it up this hill. And it is only 15 in our water compartment. So I think we're a little frozen. It's a little windy out there. Let's go back to the van. <laughs> oh, you're going, you're Get going. Out. Get out. Got it. You see, van life does have its own set of challenges, like finding a place to park every single night, constantly looking for water, listening to your partner fart and poop mm -hmm. right in front of you, being stuck in a confined space for days on end without any alone time. On top of this, vlogging and being in front of the camera with your new business partner who is your wife, it can get a little chaotic. Do you do one of these like, welcome to our channel? What? <laughs> you always turn. I'm not ready and You're I end up You're supposed to turn. It's twisting. good for the video. But in my opinion, this is what it's all about and it really puts the relationship to the test. Okay, moving on. So after two years, we listed the van for sale to finish our international travel goal of reaching 30 countries before we turn 30 years old. We missed that goal by two months, but 30 years and two months old isn't too far off. And we learned some really exciting news that we're expecting a baby in April. Taylor's pregnant! And then there were three. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is clearly going to change our lives for the better, and we now have to figure out what the hell we're going to do moving forward. So we laid out our options. Option one, sell the van, stop YouTube, go get jobs, and go back to our routine before vlogging. Option two, sell the van, buy a sailboat, and go sail across the world. Now I'm just kidding, this is my pipe dream. Thanks Riley and Elena. Option three, sell the van, continue traveling internationally, Option four, sell the van, buy a new rig, and travel with the baby. We chose option four and had to decide which rig is for us. 
So remember when I said I was gonna compare RVs to schoolies to vans? Well, here we go. So RVs are obviously the easiest since it's ready to go as soon as you get the keys. But keep in mind, Taylor's pregnant and can't do any of the adventurous activities we plan like the snowboarding trip, which is now out the window. And if you buy a newer RV, they're pretty expensive, especially with the interest rates on RV loans today. Besides, we already had one conversion under our belt, so why not save the money and do another DIY project? So that brings us to the schoolie or other oversized rig question. In theory, a bus or bigger size vehicle sounds great. More space to stretch out, more storage, more space for a baby, and all the extra crap we have to lug around for them. But more space comes with its own set of challenges logistically. Buses and other alternative vehicles are typically oversized and not allowed to park on the street in cities or towns for extended periods of time. We love visiting these smaller towns that you may never heard of. Taylor, where are we? Camden, Maine, the most beautiful city on the coast. The only brewery in, on the island. And because a van fits legally on the street, we're able to explore them without any worry about whether or not we can fit. Plus, we built our van on the street right outside our house, which we wouldn't be able to do if we had an oversized rig. Of course, there are pros and cons to each, but we value the logistical freedom of the van compared to more space with an oversized rig. For us, the whole reason for van life is to travel and explore areas outside the van rather than inside it. One could also say, why not just travel internationally instead of van life? And to be fair, we do pretty good at traveling internationally using points and miles. But since Taylor's pregnant, there's gonna be a four month window where we can't travel anywhere and we'll be sitting on the couch twiddling our thumbs with no project to work on. Also, with having a newborn, we have no idea what we're gonna be like as parents. Hopefully the baby will be able to adapt somewhat to our lifestyle, but we think traveling by van is just gonna be easier than traveling internationally. And when we do travel internationally, we tend to rent vans and bring that lifestyle with us on the road. So that is why we're choosing van life again for 2023. Even though this adventure is gonna look a little bit different with a newborn, we're gonna be forced to slow down and take our time, which I'm honestly looking forward to. Van life is our favorite way to travel and the best way to see so many locations where you probably would have just driven right by or flew over without a van. If you're curious what our new van is looking like, we're in the middle of a build series. And if you're new here, consider starting from the beginning and watching all of our van life episodes where we went all over North America. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.